Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Lovely to meet you. So for people who don't know anything about the story, what's The Little Drummer Girl all about? Well, for me, uh, The Little Drummer Girl, it's, uh, uh, it's about... Uh, it's about why, why people do what they do. Everybody has their reason. Um, the story, uh, the story is about <coughs> the uh, Israeli, Palestinian abroad, a little bit. I, I don't want to say fighting, but trying to to, to stand on their own. So uh, for me, it's about why, you know, why why you do what you do and. For me, eventually, everybody wants the same. It's to be free, it's to, to, to have what you want for your children and, and for the future. And the only difference is that people make uh, different uh, actions for it. And sometimes it's not a very good one. So for me, this is what I'm about the little drama girl. And John Nakar's writing has been adapted for screen so successfully, not least with The Light Man Night Manager. So, you know, what do you think is so great about his writing and why this story particularly? Oh, wow. First of all, uh, it's my honor to, to, to be in a, in a script that's uh, based on John Nakar's book. Uh, I think that a lot of people said it before me and can say it way better than me and why it's so great this writing is so great he he first of all i i had a few words with him in prague and and he actually been there on those places that he write he's not just writing because he's writing he's writing because he saw things which i think it's the best you know if you have experience nothing beats it so he writes from experience he writes like a, like like a lightning just hits you so for me make it to to a, to a screenplay amazing for me it's a big honor incredible director and, and cast playing these really fascinating characters not least like Florence Pugh right at the center so you know how is it working with this with this team wow well working with uh, Alexander Michael Florence it was for me a great honor it was great it was uh, I learned so much sometimes just sat there and watched them even between the scenes uh, to learn and for me it was uh, you know, uh, I feel very grateful for m this opportunity and, and for me, um, I feel blessed to be around those people in Director Park. Wow. Uh, wow, it, it was art, all about art. So um, this, is, this is what it's all about, so amazing for me. And it's just so beautifully shot in, in addition to having a lot of substance, so you know, and like amazing locations, you know, the look of the whole thing. So was, did you have some great moments on set? Yeah, of course. It was overwhelming to see the sets, to see the locations, to see the uh, everything. You know, it's not, it's not uh, that easy to, to build sets for the 70s and look so r real. So uh, it was amazing. It was, uh, you know, for me as an actor, when I came into the set, I felt like I'm, I'm in the 70s. So it helped me to, to connect to the same uh, feeling, to the same, uh, with the costume, with the with everything, with the makeup, with everything. Also the sets and also uh, also the locations uh, was amazing for me. You know, I've, I spent um, quite some time in London and I'm from the Middle East. And for me to see all those places all around London was amazing. Uh, and we, we traveled. A little bit longer, yeah. We went to Prague, we went to Greece. Greece uh, re remind me a little bit of home, but for me, wow, the locations were really overwhelming. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time. Lovely to meet you. Congratulations on a great series.